True believers, welcome back. Good morning. <clears throat> I have been on hiatus for a while. My name is John Krupa. I am the host of the Freedom to Draw Unsolved Mysteries. And in the beginning of this video, you saw a little animal comedy. Uh, that's the introduction to a new portion of the show. It's still missing living things. We're still covering the missing, and this is a missing pet, guys. Now, this pet has been missing since September 10th, 2023. It was in the vicinity of a small town in northeastern Pennsylvania called Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. This dog's name is Charmy and we're gonna draw Charmy today this is what Charmy looks like we're gonna draw her in black and white but we're gonna tell you about Charmy's story all in this episode of the freedom to draw unsolved mysteries missing pet edition Alright guys, today is the Festival of Sleep Day, and I'm all about that. I always could catch up with some Z's. And this episode is also about Charmy, and we're going to draw Charmy, and we're going to listen to this sleepy sounds in the background as we're drawing Charmy. We're going to tell you about Charmy's story as we're drawing Charmy. Community rallies around Wilkesbury Township man in a search for a missing dog. This is this article is from October 24th, 2023. This dog has been missing since September 10th, 2023. After more than a month of searching for his dog, a Wilkesbury Township man refuses to give up hope that his pit, his pup, will return home and the community has continued to offer its support and assistance. Jonathan Edwards, 38, has scoured the township and the surrounding areas for weeks trying to locate his three-year-old pit bull, Charmy. Edwards has posted hundreds of flyers and has even gone door to door asking people for help. And I believe it's a girl just because they're looking for a pit bull with a pink collar. So I'm going to take an educated guess and say that it's a girl. Um, I don't know much about this story. I saw the flyers and I looked into it and I, I felt for these people so uh, I said to myself we're going to do a show on this I get emotional I try to keep myself together but it's a lot said Edwards thank God I have this community that somehow came behind me.
this is the pink collar that I'm drawing right here. People from all over Luzerne County have rallied behind Edwards. The Fine Charmy Facebook group currently has a thousand, over a thousand members, and Edwards receives messages every single day from people trying to find Charmy. So I am a member of that Facebook page. They have flyers everywhere. So if you haven't seen a flyer and you live in Luzerne County, <coughs> I don't know, you must be blind because they have flyers everywhere. It's uh, Charmy's got some spots right under his uh, her nose. A friend and neighbor of Edwards has even set up a GoFundMe account, Bring Charmy Home, in order to raise donations. Edwards said all the proceeds will go towards printing flyers and making yard signs as well as giving people gas money who want to go out and look for Charmy. He plans to use any money left over for a reward for anyone who brings Charmy home. Is there is a reward, guys. This dog has been missing a long time because it's the new year now and still haven't found the dog. It's just a relief to know that people care about an animal that much, even though they've never met me or know anything about me, he said. Edwards last saw Charmy, who, who will turn four in December on September 10th, when she accidentally got out of the house and crawled through a hole in the backyard fence along with his other dog, Tucker. This is Charmy, guys. Been missing since uh, the early part of September. <clears throat> and this is a signature white marking here of. Charmy that no other dog probably has a marking like this in that shape remember that kind of shape it's kind of like a an arrow kind of um, misformed arrow pointing up to Charmy's ear uh, if, that, if that helps you remember it's a fine detail but maybe that'll help somebody find this dog
After two hours, Tucker and Charmy returned and were captured on a neighbor's security camera walking through the field by Edwards' house. While Tucker crawled back into the yard through the hole in the fence, Charmy turned around and continued walking through the field. She has not been seen since. another distinct characteristic of Charmy is the all white breast part here the front part This is the pink collar that I'm drawing here. This white part here kind of tapers off into the dark part of Charmy's face. My mind set has just been all over the place, Edward said, holding back tears. My only focus has been on her, Charmy. He said he's been distraught and distracted and admitted that even while at work, his mind is somewhere else. However, Edwards said that his boss at these diner in Plains, where he works as a cook, has been nothing but supportive and understanding of his situation. They are behind me 100%, he said. They know how much I love my dog. Edwards has had Charmy since she was a puppy. She was born 10 days after his 14-year-old dog passed away. And at that time, Edwards was convinced he didn't want to own another dog. But when his brother showed him photos 
on a Facebook page of puppies on looking for a forever home. He knew it was destiny. <clears throat> We're listening to Sleep Sounds, Festival of Sleep Days today, so people have a chance to catch up on their Z's, I recommend they do it. got some very <clears throat> dark parts on its face and then also some very light parts too This ear is very distinctive to Charmy though. It's kind of like an arrow pointing to that ear. Charmy is a very beautiful dog. I'm not just saying that. <clears throat> and that is probably why she's missing. Somebody took her, probably. Somebody selfish. I don't care about this. Oh, this dog has an owner. I want this dog. 
uh, hopefully that person comes to their senses and brings the dog back to its rightful owner. This guy is not just doing this for his health. He misses the dog. He wants the dog back. And there is a reward. Whoever has information leading to the dog's return. I don't know how much of a reward it is. But we're going to give you the number and you can contact if you have any information. Edwards has had Charmy since she was a puppy. <clears throat> I, saw, I saw Charmy and I was like, I have to have her. She's mine, Edwards said. Edwards describes Charmy as a very affectionate dog who loves to snuggle. She's a loving, beautiful girl. He said, I have never seen a dog that has that much love for humans. Edwards said that if someone sees a lost dog who looks like Charmy, to send him a photo so he can identify her. If someone finds her and is able to trap her safely, Edwards said they can drop her off at the SPCA, no questions asked. And that's important there. They just want the dog back. Just drop them off anonymously. No harm, no foul. Everybody goes about their business. And the dog is returned safely to its rightful home. Now that's not a bad deal. This is the pink collar here that we're talking about. This is all white here, her breast. She got distinct markings there too. This guy obviously loves this dog to pieces. If anyone knows any information, Please call 570-332-4240. Again, that's 570-332-4240. I know there are more important things in the world than a missing dog, but she is my world, says Jonathan Edwards. That pretty much sums up this episode, guys. Uh, Charmy was last seen 9 10 2023 any information, please call 570-332-4240. Do not chase Charmy. Reward is offered. It doesn't say how much, but there is a reward. On December 27th, uh, reports of a deceased put pit bull was in Bucks County, mile marker 39.9. No tags were found on a dog, and it was on... 295 South in Bucks County. Now, I don't know if that is any link to Charmy. I hope not. But I've just given you some updates on 
where where some possible leads have taken place. Also on December 13th, someone reported and in a in a dog park in Kingston, which is off on Schuler Avenue by Wyoming Seminary. Those of you that are from around here will know what I'm talking about. Uh, a dog was reported seen there, and they went to try to take a picture of it. And they, I think they got one, but it was very skittish, and it ran off into the bushes. And also on October 26th, there was a report of a dog with a pink collar and tags by a cemetery on McCal- McCal- McAlpine Street in Doria, which Doria is pretty far from the location of the last sighting of Charmy. Charmy was last seen uh, in Wilkesbury, and Doria is quite a distance for a dog. So I don't know what significance that is. But anyway, this is what Charmy looks like. This is my uh, representation of her. Uh, she's missed by her family, and it is a loving family in this artist's opinion. So, uh, like I said, guys, do something good for somebody else today it doesn't cost you anything and if you know anything about Charmy's whereabouts you call 570-332-4240 this is John Krupa for the freedom to draw unsolved mysteries true believers peace out